YouTube. It's your boy Josh coming at you guys with another video of coding clothes. This time we're going back thrift shopping at San Bernardino Goodwill. Uh, you know my last video did really good so you know this is just a sequel to that video. Uh, you guys already know it's 6 30. They'll be opening at 7. This time we won't be late. We'll be the first ones in line. You know I'm really excited for this. Uh, hopefully we find some good stuff and hopefully we let you guys know because last time I found this crazy vintage jacket uh, sorry for the lighting it is dark right here guys so I'm trying to do my best with that but without further ado let's get straight into the video All right, it's time for what you guys came for. Uh, before we get started, though. It's been a crazy, crazy, crazy morning simply because, like, not only was it, like, a bad day, but there wasn't really anything. It was too many people. It was just not a good day to go thrifting. I mean, I did get some stuff, and I'm here to show it to you guys, so we're going to get into that. But before I begin, I'm also upset. Some, like, granny lady got her, like, grandson a vintage NASCAR jacket that I can't get my mind off. It's so unfair. But I mean, that's just what it is. Without further ado, let's get straight to it. All right, guys, getting straight to it. Let's start. So, uh, we're gonna start with something basic for me. We got like a brand new, like Korean cleanup thing. Leave no can behind, you know? That that recycling, that eco-friendly. That was that. <clears throat> we also got this like chocolate brown. Uh, Columbia jacket. I don't know if you guys see that. Real crispy. I'm actually a really big fan of this one. It's a double XL. Hopefully, you know, gives me that oversized fit. If not, it'll be a great uh like give back, you know. Sell it, sell it to Play-Dohs or something. I also got a pretty cool jacket for myself. You know, I don't have that many hoodies, so I feel like I need to increase that. It's plain on top. I mean the front. And we got a nice back hit. <laughs> Kind of random, but you know, that's part of like the whole game. It's really hard to thrift here in California simply because there's so many like uh, swamp me people that are selling. There's so many hype bees, there's so many like vintage people, and there's just people that come to buy stuff. You know, it's so competitive. If we were living in a place like, uh, you know, Washington, Oregon, where there's not, you know, people are chill, it's really not like that. It's so competitive here. So it's really hard to find stuff, but. Continuing on, we got this like jacket, crazy. Uh, it's called the the Cutter and Buck. Has a little hit on the sleeve, but it's actually a uh, like a what do they call these? The country clubs. It's really nice. It's, you know, for them white folks. Got the back thing on top. Really nice jacket. Uh, it's either gonna keep it for myself or also gonna sell pretty fast. Uh, and then you got my my girlfriend, Ariana Grande, she's upside down. It's actually her merch, apparently. It comes with her stuff. It's all upside down. I don't know if that's a thing or like a miscopy. I mean, a misprint. But we'll see what we'll do with that. We got a nice piece here. We got some uh, Lakers merch. Pretty crazy with a hit in the back, too. That vintage, you know? That fake vintage, at least. Uh, we got another vintage tee. Hit in the back, hit in the front, you know that like washed peach color. That's a crazy cop. We also got some champions 
a uh, Patriots tee, long sleeve, pretty crazy tee too. Uh, so I know some of you guys will say it's pretty good stuff, but I'm telling you, I can't get over that NASCAR. A brand new Dodgers uh, shirt, pretty crispy, you guys already know. And no guys, I don't buy stuff because I have a certain team, I buy stuff for the fashion. Hate on me, whatever, but it's just, it is what it is, you know. I got a vintage, this is actually a vintage Rockstar. It has a hit on the a sides, it's really dusty though, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. It has a hit on the hoodie with the Rockstar logo. You guys can see that it's not focused. There you go. And a hit on the sleeve. It's kind of crazy. Thought that was a good steal. And I think the biggest cop out of this thing, it's not branded, but it could sell really well. Uh, it's just a dope piece in general. But I don't know if it's going to fit me. I might try it on when I get home. But we also live in California, so it's not that cold here. But I got another jacket. This like big bulky that you see. Like that. Got some side pockets on the sleeves. It's just look, look how it's, and you got that like, it's tied it. You can like tie it and stuff. But the quality on this is insane, you know. It, it, this reminds me of like the, the North Face, Columbia, you know, even if it's not those brands. Like, I can't really go wrong with this. This is just an insane jacket. Let me know if you guys know it, but like, I don't know if it's vintage or whatever, but. It's that, just the crazy color, that military green. But that was today's cops, guys. Uh, so let me know if what you guys like, what you guys didn't like. Let me know if you guys actually come and shop here too. Uh, it was a really crazy morning. I hope you guys liked the video. Like, subscribe, comment. Uh, we're definitely growing on the channel, and really. I'm starting to, I'm for these like live cops for a Goodwill, I'm probably going to record these in my car just so it gives it that like, you know, cool feel. I'm not going to go back to my room. But yeah, in the end, let me know how you guys feel and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you. Murder on the beat, so it's not nice.